Welcome to a video where we will learn how to graph systems of inequalities using the Desmos graphing calculator. In the video description, you'll find links to the graphs for each of the three problems we'll work in this video. Let's get started. Here are the steps to graphing systems of inequalities using the Desmos graphing calculator. Start by entering each inequality into a cell on the left-hand side. It's your job to locate the solution, which will be the overlapping of all of the shaded regions. Before we look at some examples, let's keep in mind three things. First, the solution must satisfy all of the inequalities. So you need to make sure you look at the overlapping area. Desmos won't point out the solution. You need to use Desmos to locate the solution. That means when there are three or more inequalities, the solution must overlap three or more times. If you had four inequalities, the solution would be where all four shaded regions overlap. And finally, keep in mind that some systems just do not have a solution. If there's no overlapping area or if there's no region where all of the shaded areas overlap, that system may not have a solution. Here's the first example we'll take a look at. Let's graph the solution to the system of inequalities. Y is greater than or equal to 5x plus 4 and y is greater than negative 5 fourths x plus 2. Let's go over to the Desmos graphing calculator. When you go to desmos.com, you can either click the button to open the graphing calculator, or from the math tools, you can use the pull down menu to locate the graphing calculator as well. In the upper left hand side, in each cell, type in the inequality. So I'm going to type y is greater than or equal to 5x plus 4. And you can see in the graph, it already shades the area for us for that inequality. If you want to change the color or the type of line, just click and hold on the circle. And then you can change the thickness of the line, the fill color or the fill. So I'm going to make this a little bit darker and I'm going to go with eight point line. And then let's type the second inequality. So y is greater than negative 5 fourths x plus 2. And it graphed this one in red for us. And once again, I'm going to click and hold and change the line thickness to 8 points just so it's visible. And now what we need to do is looking at the graph, we need to locate the overlapping area. And it looks like these two lines intersect and they create four different regions. And the shading area looks like it's this upper triangular piece. This area might not be visible on the video. Let me just darken this area a little bit to really emphasize that this upper triangular is the solution because that's where the two areas overlap. Our final answer would be just the two lines, one of them solid, one of them dashed, along with this shaded area. So our solution to this system of inequalities are the two lines. The first one, we had a solid line because of the greater than or equal to symbol. The second one was a dashed line because of the strict inequality. And the shaded area, which was the upper triangular area, that was our solution because that's where the two areas overlapped. Now let's graph the solution to the system of three inequalities. X is less than seven. Y is greater than or equal to negative four. And Y is greater than or equal to negative two X minus eight. Once again, let's go back to our Desmos calculator. We're entering three inequalities. So we're going to be looking at where three shaded areas overlap. I've added the three inequalities to the left hand side. And one at a time, I'm going to click to reveal the shaded area for each. So we can see how the graph changes with each additional inequality. Remember, we're looking where all three shaded areas overlap on this one. First, here's 
x is less than 7. In this case, we have a vertical line at 7, and we're shading to the left. This area is in green. Then we have y is greater than or equal to negative 4. We have a solid line at negative 4, and we're shading above that. So right now, we're down to this upper left corner where the green and the red area overlap from the two inequalities, but now we need to add the third one in. So let me click to reveal y is greater than or equal to negative 2x minus 8. This is shaded in blue. We have a solid blue line here, and now we need to locate where all three of these areas overlap. And you can see it gets the graph gets pretty muddy here. In fact, at one point or another, the entire plane has been shaded. But the solution to the system is where all three areas overlap at the same time. And if you're looking at the graph, you should see six different areas. One, two, three, four, five, six going around clockwise where all three areas overlap is the second region, this upper area above the red line to the left of the green line and to the right of the blue line. Once again, let me just darken that area to really emphasize where the solution is. The solution is only this one area. So normally when we draw the solution, we only include the lines, whether or not they're solid or dashed, and then the one shading area. If you wanted to, you could also locate the intersection points of these lines by clicking on the point, and Desmos will reveal the coordinates of the intersection point. So you can see this blue line and red line intersect at the point negative two, negative four. So this is one of the corners of the shaded area or the solution. And then this green line and red line intersect at the point seven, negative four. So that's another corner. And then the solution or the shaded area extends infinitely upward. So once again, our final solution is the shaded area in the middle on the upper side of the red line. Finally, let's look at our last example. We want to graph the solution to the system of inequalities 2x plus 3y greater than or equal to 12 and 4x plus 6y less than negative 12. Let's go back to Desmos. Once again, I've entered the two inequalities on the upper left-hand side, but I'll click to reveal each graph separately. Let's look at the first graph where 2x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 12. That's this blue solid line and the shading is above that line. Now let's look at the graph of 4x plus 6y is less than negative 12. This graph is in red. We have a dashed line and we're shading below the line. And if you notice, these two lines actually are parallel, so they'll never intersect. And that means that their shaded area will never overlap. That means that this system actually has no solution. Because the lines are parallel, we know they will never intersect. So if we're shading above one line, but below the other, we know there's going to be no solution to this system. So sometimes students get confused at what is the answer. Is the answer the graph or is the answer no solution? Actually, the solution to this system is no solution. The graph helps us determine that the answer is no solution because the shading area never overlaps. But the graph is not the solution set because this system has no solution. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.